I was recently made aware of a major crash that went down not too long ago between Max Riss and Two Will Jesus. I don't know who Two Will Jesus is, but I know I've heard of uh, Max Riss. I've seen his his crazy Street Rossi videos, and which I thought was absolutely crazy. I've talked against that type of riding uh, for many many years, you know, on my channel. Uh, going all the way back to like 2012, you know, with the whole street racing out here, Street Rossi trying to get some knee slide action, doing uh, crazy top end speeds. And, uh, you know, hey, it caught up with them. Even though Max Riss actually wasn't speeding when he got T boned by two Will Jesus. Um, really, really bad. And there's been other moto vloggers that have bit the dust. Uh, you have Moto Frogger out in Australia that hit a tree racing another moto vlogger. And uh, that was unfortunate. We had a net carrying that passed away doing some street Rossi moves on the Ortega Highway. Lost control doing 80 and a 30 around a corner. Got ejected from a bike over a canyon. Went down 50 feet and she's no longer with us. Um, here in Cleveland, there was a motor vlogger. I don't know if he was a motor, what you call a motor vlogger, but he hanged with a crew here in Cleveland and they did. Uh, crazy street racing on the highway triple digit speeds and it finally caught up with him too but you know what guys I'm gonna tell you the reality of all of this and what really irks me let's go for a ride watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through first off guys if you are going to do the street rossi ride night here in crazy top end speeds you better make sure you have an airbag vest because otherwise you'll end up in a wheelchair or no longer with us because this protects your vital organs, your spine, everything. I have a link to get this airbag vest in the description and comment section of this video along with links to get my super lightweight carbon fiber helmet uh, with auto tent shield, my motor vlog camera, my Sedici jacket, shorty gloves, all my other gear. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Yeah, that MT-09 with that Akrapovich exhaust, baby. See, that's what I love to do. Y'all here on the street, it's all about torque for me. I stopped doing that street Rossi crap a long time ago. You see, I got rid of my liter bikes. All I have is a Supermoto and this bike, this MT-09, 2020 Yamaha MT-09. That's it, man. And uh, because I realized that, honestly, you know, most of the riding we do out here is really stoplight to stoplight or out of here on the back roads and just hit the throttle here and there. At least that's what I do. I don't do any of the street racing crap tomfoolery that some of you motor vloggers are doing out there, which I think is absolutely uh, ridiculous man um, if you want to do that type of riding there's a place for it it's called the drag strip or take it to the track what's this dude doing man go on gosh you know even the best riders like Mark Marquez who who's out of the Moto GP race because he broke his arm twice <laughs> from crashing uh, you know, even the best crash guys, and you don't want to crash out here on the streets. You see these telephone poles, and you see, uh, you know, a lot of houses and trees, everything around here that could really set you up for an effed up day if you get thrown from your bike. Yeah. <laughs> it's no joke, man. You know what I'm saying? Even at the track, you know, where you have a big open field and a place to crash, they still have an effed up day. And these Moto, uh, Moto GP riders have perished on the track and, and had a real effed up day. So out here on the street, man, if you, you crash going at speed and you lose control and you hit the tree, it's, it's just lights out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, the crash that happened between Max Riss and Two Wheel Jesus is from... I, now, this is me just reading comments. And uh, this is... I, I was not there. You know, no, I didn't talk to these guys. I don't know these guys. Uh, but from my understanding, 
Max Riss was tur actually he wasn't speeding he was turning around and uh, two wheel Jesus was flying probably do uh, doing triple digit speeds and then T-boned Max Riss and, and jacked up shattered or busted up uh, Max Riss's leg he was very lucky man extremely lucky that's like a missile coming at you dead on and two, unfortunately two wheel Jesus had a brain hemorrhage and they had to put him in an induced coma so these guys had really effed up days especially two wheel Jesus and I wish them the best first off I pray for them and I wish them the best man I don't wish any harm on any motorcycle riders out there I wish you guys the best but a lot of you guys don't make smart choices man you know what I'm saying and a lot of you fools out there are supporting you know this type of riding out these guys out there you're paying for them they're making a lot you know some of them are making a lot of money off of YouTube so it's like a job for them to go out there and do these crazy uh, triple digit speeds out here and street Rossi crap on the street for your entertainment so you're supporting this so you had a hand you actually had a hand in this accident if you watch their videos you know what I'm saying um, that's why I, I did several videos on this in the past guys talking about take the take that type of riding to the track there's no place for that riding even myself man I, i've gotten after myself for just doing like that you know i just do these little quick thrusts out here i'm not trying you never see me i do i probably have never done any more than 120 and even that is stupid you know speeding out here on doing crazy speeds out here on the streets that's why i tell you guys that supermoto life is better although you may talk crap about like these these guys out here these dirt bike gangs or whatever that are just going out here doing wheelies and stuff they're not going to kill anybody doing that they're just being a nuisance out here to people you know what i'm saying <laughs> they're not going to get killed out here doing you know 30 miles an hour busting 12 o'clock wheelies out here a bunch of them so or, or doing whatever craziness that they do um, I mean, they can cause, they can have a real effed up day, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's highly unlikely they're, you know, they're going to get killed. Some of them do, though. They get hit by cars because they go the wrong way and stuff like that, which, by the way, I don't condone, you know, that craziness out there. You know, I, when I'm on my supermoto, I'm just busting a wheelie here and there, may ride up some staircases or something, but you don't see me riding against traffic or riding with a bunch of other uh, dirt bike riders and, and doing crazy stuff, all, all of us together or something. To me, that's just stupid because it draws attention to you. But anyways, getting back to Max Riss and Two Will Jesus, you know, it, doing that type of ride out here, you know, doing triple digit speeds and racing each other out here, it's going to catch up with you. You know what I'm saying? It, it caught up with them. And I tell you, Max Riss better get on the ground and kiss, kiss the ground when his leg's good and he gets out of the hospital. Kiss the ground and, and thank God. <laughs> That, that that just happened to him because it could have he could have been put taken out so easily he was probably just a hair away from death man um, and like I said Annette Carrion doing crazy uh, trying to do the street Rossi trying to get some knee slide action out here on the streets um, that was just dumb and she was a good rider mind you a lot of these riders they're good riders but crap happens to you you know what I'm saying you do excessive speeds for long periods of time it's something about you're, you're raising your risk <laughs> you know see me i just do a little rip here and there or something you know what i'm saying that's why i love that's how i tell you guys for the streets torque is where it's at man torque is keen that's why you see a lot of these guys that hang you know get rid of their super bikes and super sports and they get they get on a Harley Davidson or a cruiser with a lot of torque or these bikes or whatever and just chill, man. Because the streets really are just for cruising, you know, enjoying the scenery and cruising. It's not for doing that street Rossi crap out here. And I'll tell you this, guys, eventually, if this happens some more, there's gonna be an outcry and YouTube is gonna start cracking down on this. They're not gonna allow any illegal activity like that, and it's gonna mess us all up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always somebody that It's always somebody that messes it up for us all, man. <laughs> and um and like I told you guys, here in Cleveland, 
we lost a guy that was you know one of these uh street rossi types out here you know speed speed racers and unfortunately his life ended man so it hit home here in cleveland ohio you know what i'm saying and uh it's just really sad i hate to see it man i hate to see riders go down because you know what the first thing people are going to say is motorcycles are dangerous it's not the motorcycle it's the rider i knew a guy i worked with back in the day when i used to have a regular job i have businesses now but back then uh there was a guy he he, he rode for almost 50 years and he never had an accident because he rode with sense he just cruised out here he rode defensively out here and uh he never got a super bike or super sport it was always cruisers and and um and he you know what I'm saying he, he didn't have no effed up days because he rode with some sense <laughs> most of the people out here that have an effed up day are people that ride with no sense man they don't ride defensively or they ride aggressively out here on the streets that's probably i would probably go as far as to say probably like 90 percent of the riders i don't know if that's a fact i'm just making it up but majority of riders out here it's because it's their fault <laughs> not the, not the car's fault and not the tree's fault it's their fault so you take your life into your own hands man but we really have to stop this stuff or, or you know youtube is going to probably end up putting a stop to it eventually you know what i'm saying uh, but until then there's going to be fools out here that are making a living off of being a fool out here on the streets doing triple digit speeds racing each other and um and just being a menace to society out here and it, it's unfortunate because like i said it comes back to the motorcycle as being being the culprit being the bad guy in this it's the motorcycle and it's 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 it's, it's really unfortunate and also another thing that really irritates me is when these guys go down and they survive they ask for donations man and a lot of these guys are making have been making really good money off of youtube and a lot of you guys are buying their motorcycles off a of donation off of patreon <laughs> that's what gets me man you're buying their motorcycles, you're supporting their lifestyle, and then these fools are asking for donations on top of that when they have a real effed up day because it's their fault. You know, when I crashed on my YZ messing around off road and broke my collarbone, I didn't ask you guys for, I've never asked you guys for a donation ever. I asked you, hey, buy my t-shirts, but I'm giving you something of value in return. You know what I'm saying? To support my channel <laughs> yeah by the way i have t-shirts that say no effed up days and uh, i don't I, I don't wish any effed up days on any motorcycle riders man but anyways guys um i wish you guys all the best out there uh like i said leave a comment let's talk about this as a community and um but anyways guys don't forget to subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel and also check out my other channel bug out moto thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel bug out moto <laughs>